Jesus can set you free. He said, if the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. But God also said that the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that chose to know not God. You see, these people that are perishing, these people that are going to hell, are willingly mocking God. And they're choosing to know not God. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that chose to know not God. You see, you make an open, conscious decision when you say, I don't want Jesus right now. I want to party. I don't want Jesus right now. I'm going to still smoke pot. I don't want Jesus in my life. I'm going to keep drinking. You see, you're mocking God and you're throwing away the only eternal life that you have. If you reject the only begotten Son of God, you're condemned already. God doesn't want you to be condemned. God wants to set you free. Jesus said that whosoever calls on his name shall be saved. Jesus said one time, he said, if a man believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live again, and I shall raise him up at the last day. That means if you'll believe in Jesus, he'll raise you up at the last day. If you'll trust in him with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, he will direct your path. God wants to bless everything you touch, but without Jesus in your life, you're under the wrath of God. John 3, 36, try to remember this. John 3, 36, read it yourself. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Without Jesus, you're under the wrath of God. God doesn't want you under his wrath. God loved you so much that he gave his only son to die for you, to purchase you back to himself with his own blood. If you'll call on his name, you need to call on Jesus. You need to ask him into your heart. Come on. Okay, I need to use the restroom, though. Video me. Video me. Can I, can I go in a minute, video me. We're going to go in a minute. You mean to say that? But God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. And this is the condemnation, that the light is coming into the world, but men love darkness rather than light. You see, they love their sin more than they love God. I'm looking at a sea of souls right now, and half of you are perishing. Half of you are hardened against God, and some of you have the call of God on your life. Some of you are being drawn out of the darkness. You need to surrender all the way to Jesus before it's too late, before your heart is hardened against God. Today is the day of salvation. God says today, and it is yet called today, harden not your heart against Him. Now is the accepted time. Now is the time to say, Jesus, come into my heart and save me. Right now is the time to say, Lord Jesus, set me free from any sin in my life. Lord Jesus, deliver me. Create in me a clean heart. Give me your Holy Spirit. Did you know that God promised that whosoever, that's you right now, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. It doesn't say you have to go through some sacrament, that you have to go through somebody's church. It says that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. There's only one mediator between you and God, and it's Jesus, the one with the nail scars on his hands. Jesus came to set you free. He said, for this one reason, for the Son of God manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. My Jesus can set you free from the voices in your head. He can set you free from the enemy that's working in your life. Without Jesus, in your life, you're bringing a curse on your family, man. Without Jesus in your life, you're cursing your children and your wife. You need to be a man of God and serve the Lord with all your heart. You need to teach your children diligently His Word. These things I write unto you this day, teach them diligently unto your children. Get a walk of them. As you walk in your way, you need to meditate on God's Word. You need to bury God's Word in your heart. King David said, Lord, I have put your Word in my heart that I might know not to sin against you. And Are you sinning against, against God? Die, Jesus is the only way. Muhammad is not the way. Muhammad was a false prophet. Muhammad said that Jesus is not God's son. Muhammad was a liar. If you don't believe that Jesus is the son of God, you cannot go to heaven. But God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You must believe that Jesus is the son of God. Those who believe in God must first believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder to those who diligently seek him. You need to call on Jesus. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved.
Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts. You need to turn from your sin, brother, if you're going to go to heaven. You can't be a drunkard and go to heaven. God warns us in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. He says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither shall fornicators, no idolaters. I'm not sure, brother. Give me some. I'm sorry. I recognize your face. Yeah, how you doing? How you doing? I can't back I didn't know if you were arguing with my wife or what you was doing. No, I can't